Doesn't look good. Everybody likes hurricanes, right? Is that Heimdall? What's going on? That's the direction of Ozette. Yes. Yes. What could it be? There's a staggering amount of mana flowing from that lightning. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Let's go. No! Oh, we can all wear with it. This is horrible. Oh, that was kind of full of jerks. Yeah, but I don't usually want everyone to burn to death who's a jerk. Look! Boy, look! Look out! Go rescue the girl! What's wrong? Are you okay? Um, uh, lightning just struck and set fire to my whole city. No, I'm not okay. We have to get out of here! from the sky and angels attack the village. Oh. Angels. They had wings. Those with wings are angels, right? Damn it. It must have been the Crucius. Crucius. So angels destroyed the village. Prisea, are you okay? I'm fine. Unsettling irritation. Is this anger? Good! I'm impressed you survived. Are you the only survivor? What's your name? My name is Mythos. I lived by myself on the outskirts of the village, so. You have the same name as Mythos the hero! Wait, are you a half elf? Um, I. I. Relax. You can tell, can't you? We have the same blood flowing through our veins as you do. You're half-elves too? But you're with humans. It's okay. We're all friends. Except for humans Zella. Humans and half-elves as friends? You're lying. No, it's true. My sister and I are part of this group. Relax. Yeah, yeah but... Your reaction is understandable. I've heard that the village of Ozette is particularly known for its contempt for half-elves. If you've lived an isolated life in this village, you must have suffered. We'll kill them both. We have to. Oh, it's Altessa. You're Altessa, right? What are you doing here? I saw the lightning of judgment fall towards this village, but what in the world? It was the work of Crucius Angels. Crusaea, you've regained your true self. How could they do this? Is this their punishment for failing the experiment? What do you mean, punishment? Nothing. It's nothing. Wait! The Master believes that it is his fault that Ozette was destroyed. Altessa is connected to Ozette? Yes. Excuse me, I am worried about the Master. I'm going to follow him. Yeah. Mythos! You should come with us. But I'm a half-elf and... That doesn't matter. Besides, what are you going to do if you stay here and the angels come back? Lloyd's right. Let's all go together. <laughs> I didn't think she was the last party. Village, I no longer have a home to return to. 
I suppose I can't really tell you to cheer up. But I don't have a place to return to either. Because Lloyd and I were chased out of our village. Really? Yeah, so I understand what you're feeling a little. But you know, if we can just do something about this world, I have a feeling we can find a new land waiting for us. Yes, it's a big world. After all, Genus, you're small but wise. What are you talking about? You're smaller than I am. Oh, right. <laughs> really awkward timing on that. What? <laughs> really dramatic scene. And then... <laughs> you're smaller than I am. What's going on, everybody? Ah, uh, we're just playing James Kendama. It's really hard. Can I try two? Of course. Here you go. Thanks. I got... Wow, Mythos, you're good! Was the Kendama invented by half-elves or something? Is it okay if I try too? Sure! Here you go. Yeah! Yeah! Ta! Ah! Uh, oh. It's going at the professor again! Look out! What? The Kendama, Kendama just changed directions! Right towards Zelos! Head! Ow! Why are Kendamas raining on me? <laughs> that was strange. I wonder if it's Colette's power. Strange things happen sometimes, don't they? But I'm glad Rain wasn't hurt. <laughs> Screw Zelos. <laughs> what? So I don't matter? <laughs> yes. Alright, go back to the ice world real quick so we can drop that off. That flower. Noom. Okay. Heading sideways. Yeah, that's better. Okay. We apparently have to go to. Was it all Tesla's? Let's be friends. Mythos, you lived by yourself, right? That's right. Where are your mother and father? They're both dead. Ah, so you're part of this story. Just like mine. Really? We're kind of alike, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I think we can be good friends. Friends? Really? Yeah, let's be friends, okay? Thanks. I have a bad feeling about this. What? Being friends? No, 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 it was dumb. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. That guy over there. That, that's a Celsius crystal. Would you please give me a little? Oh, thank you so much. With this, my reputation will stay intact. Here's a small token of my appreciation. Well, my customers are waiting. So I'll be going now. Farewell. Bye. Five thousand dollars. Actually, pretty good friends. Mythos the hero. Jesus, so much dialogue. Looks like Genius made friends with Mythos. I'm glad. He hasn't had many friends his own age. And his name, Mythos. The name is with the hero of ancient war. It's a wonderful name. The hero Mythos with the ancient war is certainly a great man, but I'm not Mythos. So the way I do things is going to be different. But I still want to save the world, just like Mythos. So Mythos is male? Yes. Japanese androgyny. Is Mythos a playable character or an escort character? Not playable. Or he would have shown up in the party. Which is why I have a bad feeling about this. That something bad is going to happen to Mythos just after realizing that friendship can happen. Yes. 
So this must be how you actually get into Holtzheim or whatever it's called. I first get the feeling Mythos looks familiar. Oh, like the one blonde lady that looks kind of like Colette? Yggdrasil was a dude. Yeah, Yggdrasil. But Yggdrasil is based off Colette's design. So it could be, but I don't know. Well, not based on Colette's design. He was trying to kidnap her. They're different people. No, I mean, the graphics are based on Colette's graphics because it's supposed to be her. and Mythos. What's his name? It's called Noish. I don't know how we're talking about him up here. Wine. Noish, that's the same name as the first life born on this world. Really? That's how the story goes, anyway. Guided by Mana, Noish will eventually evolve into a human who fights evil. Human who fights evil? That'd be pretty cool. If you became a human, Noish. I don't know, I like doggos. Find Tessas, and then we'll probably need to go to get into. Oh, Heimdall, that's what it's called. Just look it up on the map. Old friend of Noish. Grr. Don't be scared. I won't do anything. Fine. Yes, that's a good boy. You're a smart boy, aren't you? Wow! Tell the truth, Noish. I'm tired. I'm tired of living. Wine. That's not something people should say, but you know, I think what I'm doing may be wrong. Now that I've started to think that, I can't help but feel like there's no meaning to life. Ah, emo character. Wow! Yes, Genius and Rain and Lloyd. They're all good people. I like them. I'm happy they've made me their friend, but... Wine. I'm sorry, forget what I said just now. It wasn't like me. So, the hero is still alive after all of these millennia. Yes. I mean, you could have just selected that they all have. <laughs> you just did. Altamir has weapon goodies, and Altessa's house is right there. You are close. It's over. Does mean that it should be right. secret of Ozette. Why did the Crucius attack Ozette? I wonder. Maybe it was because the village hated half elves. That's all it was. It seems strange they'd suddenly do it now. 
I tend to think it was more incidental than that. What do you mean? They've been searching for something, or perhaps someone, or someone or something they want out of hide. In such a case, destroying the village would serve to conceal their actions. Very possible, as that may contain some sort of secret. It's over there. <laughs> Wait. You didn't see that you ran into it. I was a craftsman who worked for Crucius. So you're on the side of the angels of Yggdrasil? You know Lord Yggdrasil? Know him? Because of him, Silver and Tetheol are twisted into worlds that fight for each other's mana. It's a Crucius crystal. I see. You must be the chosen of the declining world. This may be fate. What happened to Rosette was my fault. What do you mean? I came to hate work. Hate the work I did. For it was indirectly taking people's lives. I ran from Crucius and hid myself in Rosette. But I was found by a design named Rodile. He ordered me to create a Crucius crystal in exchange for my life. So that means that the research on Perseo was organized by Rodile and the Pope. Who then had you and Kate carry it out? Right. Rodile, while designed in service of Crucius, was also planning to revolt against Crucius. <laughs> because I supported him in that Yggdrasil grew angry and he destroyed the town of Ozette, which had protected me. So this is how Persea, this girl who reflects my distant memories, this is how she was caught up in all this. This is terrible beyond words. I'm sorry, I never apolo I can never apologize enough, but apologizing is all I can do now. My time will not come back. The people of the village and daddy will not come back. Persea! I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Even if you apologize, I can't forgive you right now. Persea, I believe your loss has been great. But please, do not lose yourself as well. understand Perseus feelings a little. Some things never come back. Even if he apologizes, even if you want to forgive, you can't control those feelings. Not being forgiven, that may be the punishment. I don't think that's right. Forgiving or not forgiving isn't a punishment. I can't really explain it well, but... Ah well, anyway, let's not get into philosophical discussion right now. Persea doesn't need to force herself to forgive him or anything. Let's just think about what we can do now. Yes, you're right. As for me, I think we should take this opportunity to ask Altesse all he knows about Crucius. We currently don't have enough information, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Persea, would you rather wait here? No, I'll listen as well. Please forgive the master. Oh wait, is that no? Hi, you people! You see my big brother? What the? 
What are you talking about? My big brother ain't back, so I'm looking for him. Actually, your brother has already gone home. Really? 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 Now, they're probably looking for you. You should go back home. Really? I'm going home. I wonder if that matters in any way. Maybe? Beto. Do you have business with me? Can you tell us about Crucius? It'll be a long story. That's okay. Crucius is an organization made up almost entirely of half-elves. There are a large number of dwarves besides me involved as well. So are the other dwarves besides you and my dad? Their objectives are to begin an age of half elves and to reveal or er, and the revival of Martell. For that purpose, they make use of the Church of Martell to try and fuse the chosen with Martell's consciousness. But if that's true, then why do the designs try to kill the chosen? X spheres and Crucius crystals awaken when stimulated by people's fear and suffering. Also by their combat instincts. That is why the designs disrupt the declining world. In order to facilitate the angel transformation. The deliber they deliberately put the chosen in danger. However, they would not take her life. It must be a design that betrayed Crucius like Rodai, or a member of the Renegades. Rodai, what is he scheming? The revival of the Mana Cannon. He obtained the plans to the Mana Cannon somehow and is constructing it in Silverhunt. He's also the master of his own ranch. It's likely he's using captives in the construction of the camp. Once it's complete, he probably intends to build his own empire. How can he make everyone suffer for such a thing? Say then, is it true that Yggdrasil made the two worlds? Well, that's how I heard it. That he anchored the two worlds, which are never to come in contact via four monoliths, and placed the Great Seed in the center between them to guard it. The Great Seed? Where have I heard that before? It comes up in stories of the hero, Mythos. That's what people called the soul of Mythos, who died in the holy ground of Carlan. After the close of the ancient war. Wait a minute, that's true, but... Why does the same legend of Mythos from Silveron also exist over here? I've been wondering about this for a while now. Are the two holy grounds of Carlon the two towers of salvation? And now the legend of Mythos is the same too? It seems it's possible to travel between the two worlds at their poles. I don't know where those poles would be, but perhaps... That person we know as Mythos used it to travel between the worlds? Bipolar. Yes, that's it. Professor, what's it? This is my theory. Perhaps the ancient war was in fact a war between Tetheala and Silver. And the hero Mythos arranged a truce that ended the war. And so... That would be why the legend of Mythos exists in both worlds? Yes. And if we assume that one of the two poles is the holy ground of Carlan, then we can understand the meaning of the existence of the two holy grounds. That's the door between the two worlds. Yes, that makes sense. I've heard many ideas regarding the bipolar structure of the worlds. But yours works from a logical standpoint. 
What other ideas have there been? There's a legend passed down in Altamir about something called the Otherworldly Gate. Some say that it is a pole. The Otherworldly Gate? So what is the Great Seed? I don't know that either. But Lord Yggdrasil said that it was more important than his life. I can't wrap my head around all this stuff at once. You all must be tired by now. Why don't you rest here for the night? Because you only have two beds. Meet those, right? If you don't have anywhere else to go, you should stay here at my place for a while. Are you sure that's okay? I'm a half-elf. The only ones living here are Tabitha, who I made, and me, a dwarf. You made Tabitha? Yes. Yes, Tabitha is an automated doll. So having a half-elf here isn't a problem at all. Tabitha is a doll? Okay. We'll stay here for the night, too. Is that okay with you, Persea? Please don't worry about me. Then I shall prepare dinner! <laughs> then tonight, Genus and Rain will be here, too, right? Yeah, let's play together. You're the first half-elf friend I've had. You'll be my friend? Of course! Marion decided that. Thank you. Why did they single out Colette? There hasn't been any action with Colette yet. <laughs> Lloyd, wake up! The professor's gone! What? Ah, we're down a person again. What are you talking about? It seems Rain left a note saying she had something she wanted to investigate and then left. Shortly before dawn, I saw a Riard headed south. Perhaps that was rain. South, so in the direction of Altamir. Now that you mention it, Her Highness was acting just a bit strange yesterday. She was going on and on about the otherworldly gate. What should we do, Lloyd? I am worried about her being by herself. Let's go find her. It's not good for us to be separated right now. Lloyd's making sense. Uh, um, will you take me with you? What are you talking about? It's dangerous. I know that, but I'm worried about her. There are monsters all over Tetheala right now. This is the first time I've met another half-elf besides me, so... I want her to be okay. Uh, I think it'd be weird not to bring them. Alright, come on. Thank you, Lloyd. Don't worry about it. Any friend of Genus is a friend of mine. Okay, let's do our best, Genus. Mythos, thank you. Gambarimas. Genus. Let him ride on your rear. Okay. Wait, this is for Persea. A key crest. It's hardly enough to call it an apology, but I went ahead and made one. It will be more reliable than the makeshift one she has now. Persea, let's accept it. Okay. I do think that there's a lot of important things that happen once OZ is destroyed, as far as, like, places we can do stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, I 
think that it makes certain events shift to where you can either see certain dogs you couldn't see before, or you can see certain chefs or something. about it? That's your business. Lloyd, let him do what he wants. All right. We'll catch you on the way out. All right. What recipes do you want? So, yeah. Sandwich. Everyone knows. Don't go so fast. Let's go. Thank you. 